Bon après-midi, madame et monsieur, je m'appelle David, and I am here with another installment of Practice Score. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how to use the Practice Score application to score hot stages. Those of you that attended Q9 this past weekend in Calgary will be aware that the match consisted of six stages. The match director built three stages in the rifle bay and three stages in the pistol bay. In an effort to keep the match running on time, we shot stages 1 and 2 in the pistol bay hot, and we shot stages 4 and 5 in the rifle bay hot. And stepping out of the car at about 7 a.m. on Sunday morning, I was immediately presented with the question, how are we going to use practice score to score hot stages? And I have to admit that that's not a question I had considered prior to arriving at the match. So we took a couple of minutes, and I talked to a couple of people, and we arrived at a solution. And the solution was, in essence, to throw hardware at the problem. We assigned two tablets to the rifle bay and two tablets to the pistol bay. The first tablet was configured to record scores for the first hot stage, and the second tablet was configured to record scores for the second hot stage. And it was a workable solution. It resulted in the scores being correctly recorded and the overall match results being correctly tabulated, but it was cumbersome. The RO and the CRO had to, in essence, juggle tablets back and forth between the two of them, and it was cumbersome. Driving home Sunday night, I was determined to come up with a more efficient or a more elegant solution. And in correspondence with the practice score development team this morning, I have been made aware that there is a solution built into the practice score application to address scoring of hot stages. In order to do that, we need to use the build stages functionality in the practice score app. So here we are once again back in our PowerPoint demo match. We're working on IPSEC Alberta Master Tablet 01 and we've got the practice score main menu open, an environment which by this point you should all be well and truly familiar with. CROs and ROs, please pay particular attention to the to the process involved here because you're the ones that are going to be required to manage the uh, the practice score application in such a way that it makes it an efficient process for scoring hot shot stages. So, in order to do this, we need to use the build stages functionality in the practice score app. So let's select build stages from the practice score main menu. We're presented with a list of the stages in our PowerPoint demo match. Let's say that we want to shoot stages 1 and 2 hot. In order to do that efficiently within practice score, we need to lock those two stages to this tablet. And that's done by selecting lock from the three dot menu to the right hand side of each of the stages. We select lock for stage one. From the three dot menu to the right of stage two, we select lock. And you can now see in the stage listing that stages one and two have been locked. That terminology suggests that the stages have been locked to this tablet. Let's go back to the practice score main menu and enter some scores. We select enter scores from the main menu. We're presented with a list of the squads. Let's select squad two. The competitors on squad two are displayed. First up, Osama bin Laden. We select Osama from the competitor list and we're presented with the stage scoring detail for stage one. But notice up here at the top of the stage scoring detail screen, we've now got two tabs, one for stage one and one for stage two. Those tabs allow us to toggle back and forth between stage one and stage two. So Osama gets up, shoots stage one, Let's say that he shoots that stage in 11.52 seconds. He's now told to load for his next pass. The RO selects the stage scoring detail for stage two from the tabs at the top. Osama takes his pass at stage two. Let's say that he completes that pass in 14.32 seconds. And now we proceed to the scoring detail for stage two. RO calls out the scores. The scores are correctly entered. Give Osama an opportunity to review stage two. 
Osama agrees with the scores. No changes are required. Now we'll go back and enter the scoring detail for stage one. The time has already been entered. We'll randomly select some scores. Whoops. Randomly select some scores for Osama on stage one. Give Osama an opportunity to review stage one. He's satisfied that the scores are correct and he selects save. Now in this scenario, the save functionality on either of the two stages will save both of them to the match or will commit the scores for both stages to the match. So it's important that the shooter is given an opportunity to review the scores prior to pressing save on either one of the two stages that are being shot hot. We can go back and take a look at Osama's um, score for stage one, his scores for stage two. Notice on stage one, the process of toggling back and forth between the two stages does in fact result in a score history. Not a big deal, it's only the current scores as indicated by current in brackets here that are used for the tabulation of match scores. We can go back to the competitor listing for squad two. We can select the next shooter up, Mother Teresa. Once again, we're presented with the stage scoring detail for stage one. Mother Teresa takes her attempt at stage one. Let's say she completes that attempt in 15.23 seconds. She's told to load for her next pass. Range officer selects scoring detail for stage two. Mother Teresa completes her attempt at stage two. Let's say that she shoots that stage in 13.54 seconds. And we go ahead and enter the scoring detail for stage two. Randomly chuck some scores in here for Mother Teresa. We review those scores. Mother Teresa is satisfied that the scores have been correctly entered. Prior to pressing save, we go back, enter the scoring detail for stage one. Review those scores. Mother Teresa is satisfied that her scores have been correctly entered for stage one. She then selects save. Remember, selecting save on either one of the two stages that are being shot hot will commit both of the scores to the match. Now, on that same shooting bay, we have a third stage that's intended to be shot standalone. In order to achieve that, we have to go back to the Build Stages menu, unlock the two stages that we've just shot hot, enter scores. Now we're presented with the balance of the stages available in the match. We select stage three, squad three, and we can go ahead and score that stage accordingly. Stand alone, 15.69 seconds. Chuck in a bunch of scores. That's a big stage. Whoops, make a correction. Review those scores. Easter Bunny is given an opportunity to review the scores. 31 Alphas and 1 Charlie. 15.69 seconds. Save those scores to the match. And back we go to the squad listing. So, it should come as no surprise that the good people at Practice Score have already considered the question of how do we score hot stages using the Practice Score application. And while it wasn't news to them, it was certainly news to me. So I hope that you find this short video instructional and educational and that when we come to the next opportunity to score hot stages we'll all know how to do it correctly. Thank you and bonjour.